Neighbors say this strip mall is a crime-ridden eyesore, and they want their kids nowhere near it. So they're doing something about it. News 13's Chris McKee is live at San Mateo and Catherine with how they're trying to force the city now to fix it. Chris? Dean and Jessica, you can see this Parkland Heights shopping center is boarded up and empty, and it's been that way for a long time. But that hasn't stopped drug dealers, transients, and criminals from finding their way around this building. This kind of sits on everyone's heart, you know? It's easy for neighbors to see. The Parkland Hills Shopping Center at San Mateo and Catherine isn't what it used to be. This site looks to me like it's been abandoned. It affects our our quality of life. Helen Petropoulos and Leticia Tomaszewski say the old two building strip mall that's been empty for about a decade has become dangerous for the neighborhood. There was actually a murder here. But now these neighbors. I think we're going to get it done. Absolutely. Are pushing the city to force a change here. Our message to the mayor is we're happy that Albuquerque is blossoming, but it's not blossoming everywhere. They've launched this petition on change.org, asking the city to force the owners to demolish it. Make it a matter of public record that we want this changed. We want something safe for our kids. The group called United for Change has already gotten about 300 people to sign on. The city says it's hearing the neighborhood loud and clear. We're working together the best we possibly can with a private developer to make sure the process is seamless. The mayor's office told us today that the developer says it plans to demolish this building here on the corner of Catherine. Now as for the other one, the mayor's office says property owners have told them they plan to remodel the building here on San Mateo. It's unclear when that will happen, though, but neighboring business owners like Malcolm Cooper hope it's soon. And it'll make the neighborhood look a lot better. Now, three years ago, the city came up with a plan to redevelop pieces of this international district neighborhood, including this property here. Now, that called for both retail and family housing to be put here on the strip mall property. However, the city says nothing is official yet. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Chris. Former Albuquerque.